Hello Goosejake here with a little update on the new six shot pistol in the Fortnite line from Nerf. I had done my video and, and shown that I was actually going to modify it because I did not like this huge uh, once attached, permanently attached barrel attachment that it has because, it, well, for one, it's just hugely comically oversized. There's no need for this length of a barrel attachment. All it's going to do is you know, get in the way of holstering it. And, well, for one, I'm not I'm not into the whole Fortnite logo being on there. The rest of the pistol is actually very nice. Well, as you can see by the package, Drac actually reached out to me and asked me for my shipping address so he could send something for me to try out before I go and hack into the attachment. Because, I mean, that was my plan 100% was I was going to cut it right behind this site and then I was going to fit it onto here, which would give, you know, a somewhat clean look to it and that would be reasonable for, you know, overall, overall profile. But instead, he sent me this little package, absolutely free of charge. This was just a kind gesture by him and included in it is his new piece that's available in his on his website, which I will, of course, put a link in both the description and in a pinned comment. He also sent a sticker, an end war sticker, and a end war patch. And include this little uh, design feature you can throw on the front if you so choose. But I looked it up. He actually has this part for only $6. That's a steal. That is a $6 part that, as you can tell here, is actually very nice print quality. You, you hear all these stories of his parts being, you know, high price, but that's a reasonable price. Six dollars. I can, I can get behind that. And what it does is quite simply take all your screws out. Very simple. I will note, out of all the screws here, there are three short ones that go here, here, and here. All three short ones are on the bottom of the blaster. So keep those separate, and remember to put those along the bottom. Once you have it apart, it was actually a nice, pleasant uh, shell to take apart. And this time the the part, the stock part, actually stays stuck on this side. But all the parts are on the right-hand side of the shell. And yes, it does indeed use standard hammer shot springs. Huge thumbs up. Glad to know that. The internals look like they're capable of handling higher spring loads. I will do a specific mod video later. This video is just on this part, which solves this whole problem by just simply pull this one out, place this one in. And I've done no tuning, so we're going to get a direct fit, test his print there, and it just snaps right in. Easy peasy. And then that would be put this back together. And let's see how it goes. Again, I have done no trimming, no final, you know, as sometimes you have to do, I have done no final work on my end. I am just literally sandwiching the shell back together. I'm not even going to take the time to screw it in because I can already tell. Look at that. The shell is going together cleanly. Get a couple of those tabs to line up. And that's what we have now. And, of course, if you do want to put that on, it has a little lip that allows you to fit that in there. And it even has a little notch that lines up with a notch at the top. So you can, if you so choose, snap that in, in place. That's actually a snug fit. There we go. Let's see how that looks. There we are, which I do think I will run that. That actually looks kind of nice. Nice little touch instead of just a, a plain, you know, 3D printed front end. But that's what it looks like now. And like I said, this actually is a clean profile. I think I will leave this one. One of these I'm going to get and I'm going to do a full Hydro Dip on. I might do it on this one because I'm also going to throw in like probably a 8 or 10 kilogram spring. And I'm going to brass that cylinder. Unless somebody comes out with a 3D printed, like say, 8-shot variant. That would be the nice finishing touch for this mod. Would be 
eight or 10 kilogram spring and like an eight shot printed cylinder. If somebody doesn't come out with that, I'm just gonna brass this six shot up so that I can run both full or half length darts. That would actually be really nice and improve the seal as well. But that'll be a later video. But I wanted to showcase Drax part here and there will be a link in the description below as well as look for that pin comment. But this is a very nice clean way to get the Fortnite six shot hammer shot revolver to not look so comical. <laughs> but kudos to Drax for making that and thank you for sending it. I will of course give you credit put put that in the description and again check the pin comment go check out his uh, website he has a number of other things there i took some time actually spent a good 30 40 minutes browsing it there's a lot there that i actually want to get my hands on but the smug shake with a quick little video featuring a nice way to dress up the new nerf six shot pistol from the hammer from the uh, fortnite line but thanks for watching hope you enjoyed it